installment, we will recreate the space we designed in the first video using the 2D calculator. Begin by opening Blueprint, or if you're continuing from a previous session, go to File and New Design. From the Menu drop-down, choose Design. From the Tools drop-down menu, select 2D Mode. In the Room Data tab, select the Floor sub-tab. Create a new floor group by pressing the plus symbol and name your floor, press OK. Create a new surface within your floor group by pressing the plus symbol next to Surface. Access the 2D calculator either from the Tools drop-down menu or by right-clicking in any of the manual coordinate entry fields. In the field, you would use a distance and incline meter to get your measurements. When using the 2D calculator, the From field defines your point of measurement. Let's assume your meter is center stage at a height of 1 meter, so input 1 into the Z field. For the purposes of this tutorial video, enter 40.01 as your distance and negative 1.43 as your angle. Once entered, set vertice 3 to these coordinates by clicking the V3 button. Exit out of the 2D calculator and create a second surface by using the same plus symbol. Open the 2D calculator again using either method described previously. Enter the same data as previously entered, 1.0 in the Z field in the From section, 40.01 under Distance and negative 1.43 under Angle. However, instead of applying these coordinates to vertice 3, apply them to vertice 0 by clicking the V0 button. Without closing the 2D calculator, enter new data, 70.35 under Distance and 5.71 under Angle. Set these coordinates to vertice 3. You've now successfully created the same environment as in Blueprint Tutorial Video 1, using the same tools that would be available to you on site. Please stay tuned for the third installment of the Blueprint Tutorial Video Series.